Hey everyone, my name is Kuwik and today we'll continue playing Dynamite Dunes. Our goal is to get 650 guests and a park rating of 600 at the end of year 3. In the previous video we built a few rides including a log flume, which I wanted to change. I forgot to put in an on-ride photo and also decided to add some turntables to make the first outside curve and drop go backwards. The area around the Hounded House needed a little bit of extra theming. I added a few roofs to the flat parts of the queue and the exit path. This makes the ride feel more like it's part of the environment. One of the things I always check when making parks is the way the guests spread through the park. If certain areas tend to get fewer guests than others, you probably need to fix your pathing. For this park I ended up going with a big path around all of the park. This way the people will walk past all the rides and stalls and are likely to spend more money. Meanwhile, the go-karts got researched, which is a great way to make some money. This ride will always get long queues and therefore a steady income for your park. So if they are available, don't shout out on building them. Because of the amount of free space around the family coaster, I decided to build a custom one instead of going with a pre-built track. Normally I wouldn't build such a long queue for this ride, because it hogs up a lot of people. Nearly every peep in the park will enter the queue if they walk past it, and the more peeps in queues, the less peeps spending money. So long queues aren't always a good thing. Before I opened this new pathway around the back of the park, I first made sure to put a decent amount of trash cans and benches on it. I also added a dodge on the right to make sure there is something to do for the guests that walk around there. After opening it, I placed some food and drink stalls around the new area too, to make sure that there are no dead spots where guests cannot get food or drinks. I also just unlocked the balloon stall, so I built two of those too, one in this new area and one near the entrance of the park. To continue with the teaming around the park, I decided to give the queue of the Dynamite Blaster an update too. I added a roof to the whole queue, this way it matches nicely with the station building. To make sure that enough people walked around the back of the park, I decided to remove the path going from the Dynamite Blaster to the front of the park. This way the peeps have to use the new path in the back to get to the other side of the park. This made that the Dynamite Blaster's queue path connected to a dead end, which I fixed by connecting it to the other side of the former cross section. At this point I skipped around half a in-game year. In this time I built a water slide behind the merry-go-round at the entrance of the park, as well as a station building for the family coaster. Sadly I lost all the footage from building this, but you will see the changes while we work on the rest of the park. The custom coaster I'm building right now isn't really all that custom. I'm building a standard Vekoma boomerang coaster, which is already available as a blueprint if you have bought a toolkit for the game. The only problem with the blueprint is that it doesn't include an on-ride photo. On-ride photos give a lot of extra revenue to the park without costing anything, so I try to add them to as many of my rides whenever it is possible. Back to the Haunted Forest theming. The idea I had when building this family coaster was to have a first hill going over the entrance pad of the Haunted Forest. This way the coaster could act as the gateway to this area. Now that we have the rest of the park running smoothly, I'm going to add the arch around the track to make it look the way I wanted to in the beginning. The name of this area ended up being the Haunted Woods. For the rest of this area the theme is gonna be simple. I'm going to extend the dirt grass mixture that I used for the ground around the Haunted House to cover the whole area. I'm also scattering a lot of trees around to make it look a bit more filled up. I also added a few crops around to make sure that the area looks a little bit more convincing. That was it for today. We finished the scenario with a park rating high into the 900s while having nearly 1000 guests into the park. If you liked the video, feel free to like it. If you didn't, drop me a dislike. If you have any ideas on how I can improve my videos or if you want to play around in the finished park, please tell me in the comments. This was Kuik, see you next time.